the impact that having Wi-Fi access uh, really cannot be understated. So you have applications such as, you know, in the Himalayas, you have people putting up Wi-Fi networks. In remote villages in Canada, you have Wi-Fi access. The ability to, for example, make what in the past were very expensive telephone calls over voice over IP, over Wi-Fi, has been game-changing and life-changing for so many people around the world. The advantage of having a standard for a particular technology is that vendors, multiple vendors, can develop to that standard and develop interoperable products. One of the applications where we see an example of the benefit of this is the deployment and use of, of 802.11-based and Wi-Fi-based networks for disaster recovery and emergency services applications. Well, there, there's a couple ways to be looking at this. First of all, let's, let's think about what we do in everyday's world. And I, I think the best example that one could look at is, is social media, okay? Most people don't realize when they are on their phones or on their computers and they're on Facebook or whatever social media platform that they use, the engine that is supporting that whole application is driven from what's called a data center. And inside this data center, you have a whole bunch of ethernet connectivity from the basic servers that will answer your request for data and your cat videos and so forth all the way through and delivering to you on your phone. Okay, so you make a request on your phone. You're probably at home and if you're at home, you're probably connected to Wi-Fi. The other side of that Wi-Fi, guess what? There's probably an ethernet connection there. Going through the network back to the data center, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be going across an ethernet network somewhere along the lines. But then once you hit to the data center, you are definitely gonna be seeing ethernet. So I, I think the problem that people don't understand is, is that they don't see that cable anymore. They're connected wirelessly. So they're thinking, oh, this is all done wirelessly. No, everything behind the scenes, all the infrastructure that's supporting it, that's all ethernet.